Hello and welcome to a video that's got naught to do with Inventor on an Inventor channel. <laughs> now this is a viewer. A, a viewer? A viewer, really? Is that the level of content we can expect from this channel? Well, bear with me because this thing, this, what you're looking at here is the Doggies Dangler. It is amazing. It is so good. It is, it's free as well. It's free. Yeah. Whoever made this free with an Autodesk is nuttier than a squirrel's fart because this is so good. This is the, the I'm not going to read out the address. You, you guys can read. You didn't get this far in life without being able to read, you know. So there's the address up there. Go to that address and you'll be presented with this web page. This viewer, it's an online cloud-based viewer and it can open up 50 different file formats. So SolidWorks models, Inventor models, ProE models, JT files, uh, Navisworks, the lot. You, you can see them on screen there. It can open up pretty much anything. And like I said, it's cloud-based. So what you've got to do is upload your files. So you drag and drop your files from Windows Explorer or wherever they are, you know, your USB stick or whoever, whatever else. Just drag them into here and then it'll upload them into the cloud, into the cloud, and then it'll show you your model in a viewer. And you might be thinking, well, why? Why would I want to do that? Well, I'll show you that in a minute. All right. I'll show you what you can do with it in a minute. But trust me, it is amazing. So I'm going to use one of the Inventor sample files, it's suspension. Now you might be thinking, well hang on a minute, come on, slow down a second. An assembly needs parts, you can't just drag an assembly in there and just expect it to work. No, there's a little bit of trickery you need to do. But not, not really trickery, you just need to just you know, be, be clever about it. Just be a little bit clever about it. So what I'm going to do is drag my assembly into here. And then it goes, well you need more files boy, you need more files. So what I do is I select the folder. And it says, well, t tell me where the parts are. So if I go back to my Windows Explorer and just copy the top level folder, obviously all the parts are underneath here. So I just copy the top level folder to the clipboard, come into here, paste the folder name into there and just press enter. And it's going to list all the different files that it's detected underneath there. So it's picking up things like, you know, HTML files and text files and drawings and stuff. It's going to upload those into the cloud. I don't really care. It's not going to show me those. It's just going to show me the files that the assembly needs. So what I'm going to do is click upload and then I'm going to pause the video and then once that's finished uploading it doesn't take it, the speed of it depends on your internet speed obviously you know it's going up into the cloud so uh, it, it'll take however long it takes and uh, I'll pause it and I'll resume in a second. Right that's finished uploading so what it does then once it's finished uploading the files it then performs a conversion on them it's got to process them it could have you got all the parts has it got everything it needs to show you the assembly it'll sit there chugging away until it's ready to show you the file and once it's showed you the file be prepared to be amazed. Right here we go it's going in <laughs> it's going in. come on sunshine. And there we are look at that now you might be thinking again well it's not really anything different to Inventor, but I, I think that looks better than Inventor. This is a cloud-based viewer. So here's our assembly looking better than it does in Inventor in an online viewing package, which you can now show someone in your office. You can show someone in your office this without needing Inventor. You don't need any licenses. You don't need a, fa a, pass a, a past, a fast, powerful computer. You've just got your model here. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. The quality on screen is phenomenal it is absolutely top draw uh it, it's it's as good as you can really get from a cloud-based application this it's just so good it's so good we've got various settings that we can play with so you've got a settings button down here at the bottom and you can change the background so you've got you've got a whole host of different backgrounds there's no as far as i can tell no imagery for the background so you know like uh, inventor's got courtyards and warehouses that you can have in the background it doesn't have any of those it just simply changes the, the kind of the ambient lighting in the background that's what those do we've got a, a number of different uh, performance settings you can turn off ground reflections if you are on an absolute spud of a computer you can turn off things like you know the ground shadow the ambient lighting uh, the anti-aliasing will probably kill your performance a little bit anti-aliasing is the you know jagged edges on the uh, on any straight lines and any kind of on-screen edges um, anti-aliasing will smooth those off uh, but if you've got any half decent of a PC you know it, it's pretty fast it'll drop the shadows as you're orbiting but you know I'm happy with that absolutely fine with that so there's your settings we've got uh, explosion techniques so you can zoom around you know zoom out and then hit this little slide bar here and it'll explode your set <laughs> Look at that man look at that 
that is just and I've had to do nothing I genuinely hand on heart have not touched this assembly from 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 ever it's just sample files what what model can I use to show this video I'll use the sample files and it's just performed an, an, a flawless explosion on the uh, on the assembly that is just amazing so we can do that we've got a full model browser which again is just unbelievable we've got a full model browser in here where we can select any one of the parts in the assembly and then we can ask in uh, ask in vendor <laughs> there's my habits right there then we can ask the viewer to show us the properties and it'll give us a full breakdown of part numbers uh, you know revision numbers when it was created in <laughs> how good is that I don't as far as I know this isn't you can move this box around but I'm not too sure what more information you can put in here. I don't know whether you can start calling materials. Or I don't know whether it's got an API that you can expose and we can start customizing this. Uh, I can see potential with that. I can see potential for this to then query stock systems, you know, ERP systems. Do we have this particular part in stock? Can we have it in a different size, a different color, that sort of stuff? There's potential there for this to be phenomenal. But at the moment, it's early days with it. It is early days. Um, but come on, I mean, that's just it's just amazing, isn't it? It is absolutely amazing and I've uh, show all objects there we go all right so there's your model browser that's pretty good uh, we've we can do sec <laughs> we can do sections with it I mean that's brilliant let's turn this explosion off let's go into the section analysis so we can put in a, you know, a Z plane and we can move this around using the arrows you know God, it's just so good uh, I'm not too keen on the the red edges that it gives you there might be a way of turning those off I'm not too sure uh, but there's your section analysis which we can put on what else can we do? We can change field of view. We've got field of view sliders in here. Uh, get rid of that. It's, it can be a little bit clunky. I mean, it's early days with it. I'm clicking the left mouse button here, and this button's not coming up. If anyone from Autodesk's watching, that's pretty garbage. Uh, but, yeah, focal length, fit to view. We've got a roll option here where we can roll, I'm assuming, the camera. Uh, yeah. So, yeah that's, that's, but actually, that's rolling the model. All right. That's actually rolling the model, not the camera. That's pretty good. Happy with that. That's that's pretty nifty. Uh, but the jewel in its crown. You might be still thinking, well, you know, this is nothing. There's nothing here that I can't really do in the likes of design review, you know, or inventor view. I can show people inventor models in inventor view. What's what are you get now? Well, the potential I see for this to be brilliant is that we can do an online collaboration with people anywhere in the world. What you do is you hit this button here, live review, and then you enter my name. So I'll put in Neil, I click start review. Then we get this live review option up here. And this is like a go to meeting type of collaboration session. I can select invite and then I can email anybody I want this URL. Just hit control C, go to your email client, email somebody else this link. They'll click the link and then they'll that'll open up a web page and they'll see exactly what you see. There's none of that clotting on with download this applet, download this application, click run, type in your name, wait five minutes because your firewall's blocking this, that and the other. There's none of that crap. It'll just open it up straight away and they will see in real time what you're looking at. I wish I could show you it, but I can't obviously because I've, I haven't got another person here and I kind of have like a dual camera thing going. I probably could have done, but you know, whatever. Uh, but they'll be they'll appear in the chat list and you can type messages to them there's a lot of work Autodesk need to do to get this to be absolutely spectacular but it right now it like I said before it's early days and it, it is ready to go it is ready to use right now and the potential for this to be used within industry within businesses is um, immense it is so good so that's uh, that's the 360 viewer from Autodesk um, I cannot speak highly enough of it. I think, like I said, there is a lot of work. There's a lot of suggestions which I personally have for them, which I've, I've gave a few of them already, uh, for them to work on to make this even better. But as a first iteration of an online cloud viewer, this is brilliant. Uh, and hopefully you guys, once you know about it, you can then take it back to your workplace or your, your school, your university, wherever you are, and make good use of it. Um, so. Thanks very much for that, guys. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you do, please press like on the video, put a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, cheery bye.